Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Double Down Reviews. I'm Tyler. I'm Tim. And today we're taking a look at Hot Toys Anakin Skywalker from Revenge of the Sith. Ta -da. Let's take a look at the box. Take a look at this package. No, I'm cut off. <laughs> you talk about the box. Alright, we're going to talk about the box. Uh... Hot Toys, Star Wars, usual, all black box, picture of the figure on the front, credits on the back. Got the insides in here? Mm hmm? Bad boy up. Another picture of the figure and another pose. Cradle and accessories inside. Just nice, sleek looking series. Keep it all uniform. That's the box. What's some pros and cons of this figure? Hit pros us, and cons. Hit us with the news. Uh, pros of this figure: the head sculpt is great, looks amazing. The paint application is on point. Uh, they have a wire frame on the inside of his hood, which is kind of helpful because you can just push it down and done. Don't got to worry about it. Uh, you got. Hayden Christensen and his mullet glory for whatever reason. But all around, very cool looking figure. Uh, he came with the attachable arm to have the LED function. And um, he also came with his robot hand, which each part is individually articulated. So you can have him do whatever the heck you want him to do. Um, <clears throat> he also comes with Count Dooku's lightsaber. Both blades are detachable, so you can just have him holding onto the hilt. You can have him with one holding onto one hilt, however the heck you want to do it. Uh, I guess the only con I have for this figure would be because his tunic is kind of that leathery material. They did put like a there's like a wire frame on the inside of here too to allow the movement not to look weird like bulky or something like if you raised his arm and it wouldn't push up you could just kind of push one down and it would work out but it does kind of act weird if you're trying to move his arms a certain way because then it, it it bulges out down on the chest piece like see how it's kind of like bubbling oh yeah a little bit so like you'll push this down and then all of a sudden you have this huge wrinkle here then you like try to push that up and then all of a sudden these pop back up can but, you pull this tight down here or um, is it not? i think it's just like <laughs> pants <laughs> <laughs> rip off anakin's pants He's like, Obi-Wan used to do that to me. <laughs> and then he cut my legs off. Um, but, I mean, that's just kind of nitpicky. Um, you know, the costume looks great. The detail looks great. I like how they made his cloak um, a pretty heavy material. So it, it drapes the right way. Same with the hood. The hood just kind of drapes correctly. And um, I think it was the old Ben Kenobi. His uh, cloak, or his Jedi robe, is um, definitely a lighter fabric to, like, if you, you'd have to really hold it for a while or push it to a certain point to keep it to do this. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just, like, open. Um, yeah, I don't know, it's just, I feel like the cloak still doesn't quite translate well to this scale. Yeah. Better than six inch figures but still there's just not enough weight or something it doesn't sit 100 percent right like, i feel like they need to do what they do with like the batman capes or the superman capes where they put the little weights in the corners to have them like hold back and have that that drape look to it mm -hmm. um so he just got out of a shower he did it bathrobe on he did but uh you know he looks cool, in my opinion. I think he's a good-looking figure. We can take the robe off to get a better look at the yeah. Take his cloak costume. Off. Show him the whole costume. So your father wanted you to have this when you were old enough. <laughs> <laughs> my dad's arm, you sicko! Uh, they also put wireframes on the insides of this shirt, which is nice. Because same thing. This is just a heavier material, so. It uh, would just kind of stand up if you didn't have the wireframe. But, uh, it, I mean, costumes as accurate as the movie. Looks spot on. 
even the like, markings on the outside of the boots to oh and then I've heard people online talking about this they're claiming that the Anakin lightsaber hilt can't stay on his belt um, it's a very easy fix to that because in the box in the top right corner is a little clear plastic bag that looks like it would have nothing in it there's actually a little peg that goes right in there and it just slides in and hangs on to the front of his belt. So, don't throw that away. <laughs> oh, yeah. Otherwise, he's not going to just be hanging out. Um, articulation, everything's here. You can pretty much move him around, dance him however the heck you want. You can get him to do the, the disco. Arms up, you got wrist. Uh, this is a full head sculpt. It doesn't have a neck cut, so that might limit your mobility, especially with the like, hard mullet. Yeah, the hair kind of hinders it a little. But it's okay, because all Anakin ever did in the prequels anyway was this. Uh, master, yeah. what have I done? I killed them. I hate sand, it gets in everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, the, the figure looks great. Um, I'm a little butthurt about the Dark Anakin being announced right after this figure was released because why not just do another head sculpt that came with it and have it be a deluxe version so you could have had normal Anakin and then the dark Anakin. But Hot Toys is getting just stinking greedy, so I'm over it. Who cares? Or I'll just throw some red paint on his eyes. This one's cool. <laughs> this one's cooler anyway. This stupid Sith eyeballs. So you just stayed up too late the night before. How hard is it to change out his arm with this? Not that it's this. not. Um, what they do is because I was worried about that too with the gauntlet. Um, it just has little buckles. You just pull them. They just have little pegs, and it opens up to like how Vader's gloves do. Mm. Yeah. You know what I mean. Mm -hmm. So it just opens up like that. Lift up the sleeve. Oh look, he's already got a charred body. <laughs> he's toast. And then, like that. Dooku's blade come out. Dooku's blade does come out, but you can't put it in this hilt. Oh, they got gotcha. you. No, you you can, but because this is a blue light and that's a red, it kind of turns into a Mace Windu hybrid. Purple. Yeah. Let's see. <laughs> 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 this weird, like, yeah, it's, it's like this weird iridescent blue. <laughs> uh, okay, put the normal blue one. Yeah, on. then we'll put the normal blue yeah. one on there because the, that was a joke. Don't. don't. <laughs> there it is, Mean Gene. He's got his lightsaber going. Yeah. Cool figure. Um, I love the LED function. I wish that this figure would have come with one of those new sweep, sweeping blade, like action um, blades. Um, I think the Return of the Jedi Luke, and I believe the Revenge of the Sith Obi Wan uh, come with those. But um, yeah, for accessories, so you got <clears throat> you got the robot arm, you got the Count Dooku Hilton blade. The Anakin hilt, the blade, the LED arm that just attaches, that's what we just did. Then you get a Jedi hand, where he's like doing like a Jedi mind trick. This, you is, get a, this is the hand for when he's calling for the check. Yeah. Check please. <laughs> uh, Dexter Chester, could you, could you, we're done here. Uh, this is just a closed fist, the black glove. Uh, kind of like a force choke when he kills Padme, but he could feel her. She was alive! No. So stupid. <laughs> and he's like, hey, look, I've had this <laughs> I've had this Darth Vader costume for years in a closet. <laughs> Throw it on him! <laughs> uh, and then you got uh, another open hand that's not gloved, like another force meditation hand, and another, like, force hand. And then two hands for holding the lightsabers. And his cloak. <clears throat> and his cloak. Or, as I like to say, this is the deluxe version of Anakin Skywalker that came with Obi-Wan Kenobi. <laughs> <laughs> there it 
it is. Oh, it's he's got to pull, yeah. it's got to pull the Vader and stomp on it to make sure he's not hiding in there. Um, feeling I haven't felt since. <laughs> I see that this guy's boots are like the other Star Wars boots, Full like an actual boots. piece of leather, so yep. it kind of hinders a little bit of the ankle movement, but not bad. They did a good job with the face sculpt. Yep, it's, it's all there. He's just, just got like this guy. He even got the scar down his face. Yep. Um, He's got the emoting range of actual Hayden Christensen. <laughs> <laughs> this looks like he's always looking at like a, a drywall, like a crack in drywall. He's just like, <laughs> Who put um, that there? <laughs> why am I looking at this wall? Um... Uh, Maybe this is the first review we're going to do where we're not... The figure looks good, but it's just the... That's up to you. If you like the prequels, it's, it's, the, sweet it's figure. the source material, I suppose. He, he looks awesome. They nailed yeah, the likeness, yeah. the and the figure is great. The it's, figure looks great. If you like the prequels, pick it up. It's just... Uh, Some bad writing, but... Crybaby Anakin. But that's okay. Whatever. Um, I do think it would be cool if they made a... Uh, Padme or something like if they did like a attack, sure the, attack of the clones Padme or something if, like that. If they're doing Duke, with, they'll do Padme. That Duke looks so good. <laughs> um, Let's I don't take know, your uh, Sauron figure and cut his hair and make a Duke. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a bowl cut, a bowl cut Sauron. <laughs> um, uh, what else was I gonna say? Oh, uh, are there any upcoming new Star Wars figures that have been announced that they've talked about? Uh, we got to straighten out his kneecaps. What are you doing? This guy's like 12 and a half inches. He gains like three inches when he puts on the Darth Vader suit. Well, yeah, his legs get cut off, so Palpatine gave him some boosters. Nobody remembered him when he put on the mask. <laughs> <laughs> He's um, too short for a Sith. <laughs> <laughs> Give him some platform shoes. <laughs> It's like Darth Vader comes out wearing like a ki like kiss boots, like the stupid spikes yeah. all over him, out the knees and stuff. Oh, I can't take the lights out of that hand. Nope, you break it. Yep. Um, I know that they just announced the Count Dooku. They announced the new Yoda. I have the Empire Yoda. I would prefer that Yoda. It looks like the puppet, not CG. Um, oh, the new one's Attack of the Clones Yoda. Mm -hmm. He literally looks good. like CG. I'm good. <laughs> and then, um, I think those are the only ones that have been announced. Oh, the the Solo Mud Trooper, which, if you guys haven't gone and seen Solo yet, go see it. Just go see it. It's, it's, it's it a is great so time. good. It's a great time. So good. I want to see, I want to get a Hot Toys Lando. I don't care if it's Billy D. Williams or if it's Donald Glover, I want a Lando. Give us a Lando. <sighs> and if not, at least a Lobot. <laughs> <Low bot. laughs> um, but yeah, let us know what you guys think. Uh, tell us what you guys think of the figures or what ones you're excited for. Um, if you enjoy the video, make sure to hit the like button or ask for a check. Um, we'll see you on the next review. Thank you. Bye. He slaughtered them like animals. <laughs> ah. It's holding me back. Ah.